Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me. It's Monica. You know, I wanted very much to have a video. I did a video like three, four days ago. I posted it and I wanted very much to have another video go up Saturday morning. But I've just been, my sister and I and my husband and her husband, we've all been working like crazy on my mom's house. My mom and dad built the house in the early 60s. We moved in, I think, 1961, and they they never moved. And I know I probably mentioned before that there was a lot of stuff. After my dad passed, my mom went through some of it, but oh la la, unbelievable, the amount of stuff that we're going through. So we've been just, and that's so, it's so sad because, you know, you collect you have things that mean something to you, and then one day you're gone, and people look at it and they go, "What is this? You know, where is this from? Or, you know, what is the significance? Is there a story behind that?" And these are things you you don't know. I mean, I know a lot about my parents because Jay and I would drive them and bring them and pick them up and go places, and they'd sit in the back seat and we would talk. So I know a lot, but there was so many different things that we found. Like I get. I've got, I don't know, a huge box of photos that I still have to go through. A lot of the photos are really old, they're black and white. And some of the photos, I don't recognize any of the people, you know, on them. And, but I know they were all special to my mom and dad, right? I just don't know who they are and I don't know what the backstory is and what the relationships are and stuff like that. And I found, tons of letters written in German, right? Letters that relatives from Germany sent to my parents. Bibles all in German. So many, so many mementos, so many things that my dad had in a drawer that he was saving. You know, yes, I could understand newspaper clippings of, you know, big important events that happened in the world, but there were so many other things that I just didn't know about or, you know, didn't, couldn't really, make the connection and it just made me think to Jay, I said, you know, I think we need to, and I know people say this all the time, right? We need to plan for that day when we have to get rid of everything. For us, it's going to come quicker because the goal has been to try, we want to sell the house. Um, I'd love to sell it this year, but I don't think that's going to happen. But um, yeah, yeah, we've been downsizing in the sense we, you know, did our basement. We did a bunch of other things. We still have most of the attic to go through and, you know, some of the bedrooms and stuff like that. We have a small house. So in retrospect, we really don't have a whole lot because our house is so small. So I guess that's the savings grace. But just been so busy. And, and so I think until we get my mom's house all situated, we're going to put that on the market. But until we get that all situated, I can't guarantee my videos are going to be consistent. I hope they are. You know, I hope they are. I really want to get back on track because there's a lot of things happening that I really want to share with you. And there's, there's thoughts and plans and things that are going through my mind that I also want to share. So in this particular video, because I want to get this probably not even edit it because I tend to not edit much lately, uploaded and so that you can see it Sunday. Um, what is Sunday? Is it May 6th or something? Um, the coronation was today. But the reason I want that is I wanted to just let you know because I know Mother's Day is coming and I don't have a mother anymore to buy for and that sounds so weird. But my mother when, you know, my mother used to think it was a little bit on the nutty side because I did so much skincare, but then she really started to get into it. And she said, you know, your skin looks really good. Or she would give me a compliment. My mother was never one to give me a, a huge amount of compliments. But, and I would tell her about some of the things that I was doing and thinking about. And before I went away on the trip, I knew I was going to be trying that, the LED mask that I had talked about, Candy Way. Um, I knew I was going to be getting this and I knew I was going to be trying it. So I had mentioned it to my mother and I was showing her pictures and my mother was going, that's insane, that's crazy. And then I was telling her the benefits of LED masks, right? The just the benefits alone. And she was like, 
maybe I should try that. And I laughed and I said, you know what, mom, you should try that. And, and I, that would have been something for my mother because I don't care how old you are. It, I don't think it's ever too old to start to take care of yourself, your skin, or something like that. And my mother's a super, super proud woman. I know she would have been all over this. I let her use my favorite concealer, the Fiara. She had like a, a mole on her face right by her eyes. I let her use my favorite concealer from Fiara, and I'll talk a little bit about that in a bit, but she loved it. She loved it. So anyways, I want to mention Candy Way because Mother's Day is coming up. And for those of you that might want to treat yourself or treat someone else, you know, this this is perfect, especially for those of you that are, say, in Canada. So, um, Candy Way is that red light therapy mask that I showed you in my, my last video. And I know, like, Mary Ellen, I, um, Hunt and Flashy Angie, I think Dr. Dre, there's a whole bunch of people that talk about LED masks that love them. And I think Hot and Flashy Angie did a great review on a number of them. But anyways, Candy Way reached out to me oh gosh I can't remember it was it was before I went away and um, and I was fascinated because I have been really loving the little red light masks that I have used or I have the trophy skin that I used to lay on and, and I put it on remember the trophy skin one I have that one and lately I was just using it very haphazardly because you have to set it up. It's not something that was super convenient that I could pack up or that I could keep by my bedside. You have to be in a certain position to, you know, do the arm and all that. So anyways, when I got um, a, a message from Nicole from Candy Way and said, would you be interested in trying this? They had watched my videos. And I think I mentioned, a lot of people say, we watch your videos and we'd like you to try this. And half of them don't really watch your videos, you know, or they might watch a minute, you know. But she was mentioning things that I talked about that made me realize she's watched more than just one minute of a video and more than just one video. But anyway, she, she reached out and I was fascinated. I went and I looked up the company. I tried to find some information about the company. And I realized that they're, they are a very small family-run company, and I loved that whole ad, attitude about it. I love, I love someone that's an entrepreneur that wants to start, that wants to do something and break into, say, maybe a bigger industry or whatever. So I have always respected the small business people because I'm a small business owner. So I've always respected that. And when I started to read about this, husband and wife, and I think one of their friends, they're the owners, and I started to read about their ideas and their thoughts and the fact that they, the scientist that actually did the Candy Way mask is the exact same scientist that has done many of the others. So the specs are identical to most of the other masks, not all of them, but for, at least to one that is super popular that a lot of people talk about. It's identical. Um, the same amount of uh, LED wavelengths, um, the same amount of LEDs itself, the weight is the same, the application process is the same, the warranty is the same, many of that is the same. Now, the, the big difference, I think, on this, most of them um, will say that they're FDA uh, cleared, or they have those certifications, etc. This one, I think at this point in time, is one of the only LED masks that actually are cleared by, or they have a um, Health Canada certification. So I thought that was super impressive. And like a lot of the other masks that are coming out now, they're they're more portable. Um, they're they're just very very flexible I think you know I showed you this what I do and you can charge this I haven't charged it since I got it and I've used this four days in a row and then I, I stop for two and then I start up again now the way I've been using this I have this by my bedside so when I get up in the morning I go to the bathroom I might just quickly put water on my face I go back to bed and make sure my face is dry I position this on you know, put the strap on and, and, and I just position it on and then I just hit this button and it goes on for 10 minutes. All you have to do is hold the button, it turns on, you see I've got the lights on, 
you know, and you just keep it on for 10 minutes. It shuts off on its own. So I put it on. I lie there in bed with it on every morning. I tend to fall asleep, which is fine. I really like it, you know, that way. I love it. So let me just tell you a little bit more about this. This is not going to be a full long-term review because I've only used it a short period of time. But the one thing that is super cool in the amount of time that I've used it, I've actually seen a difference. And you know what I've seen a difference in? So I have been trying to lose weight. I know, we all have, right? But I have been trying to lose weight and I have actually been trying to lose weight since Thanksgiving. I started really, really seriously trying to watch what I eat on Thanksgiving. But my whole goal was I wanted to lose weight slowly because I didn't want to have to compromise between my rear end and my face. Every time, especially at a certain age, when you lose weight, your face sinks. You're, you, you get so super wrinkly. And I was so worried about, you know, yeah, maybe my butt will look better, but my face will look worse because it's going to look thin and drawn and, and all of that stuff. So my goal was to try to lose weight very slowly. And even though slow is not as motivational as if you see weight come piling off, you know, obviously then you go, yeah, this is, you know, doing, I'm working, I'm doing this or that. But anyways, I, I, I've lost some weight since that time frame. And not, not only have I lost a little bit of weight, I've lost more inches because I've increased more my activity. I'm walking more. I try to get on my, my exercise bike a little bit more. And of course, bike riding season is coming up. So I'm, I'm hopeful. So uh, when, when I started my weight loss, and a few other things going on in my life. I was really worried about my skin. You guys know that I do a collagen supplement. I've been doing that for many years now. I still do that every morning, put my collagen in my coffee cup. But I really believed I needed to have something to be super preventative to really kind of make, make and maybe help that collagen work better, right? Because that's what red light therapy is. It, it kind of goes deep into the layers of your skin. It kind of helps with collagen production. And then if your skin thickens up and you are a person like me that has a lot of red veins that you see because you see them more because my skin is thinner. But when something like this and partnered with my collagen and all that, when my skin starts to slowly thicken, which is what this is doing for me anyways, then the veins are lower in your skin. I don't know if I'm explaining it right. Dr. Dre had a video on it. Um, and I'll try to find that video because she really explained it really well. So I, that was one of the first things I noticed almost within a few days of using this. I got up in the morning and, you know, usually I look at my, my, my face and I'm like, I put, I put eye patches on every morning. I sleep with a frowny. So I got up in the morning, I was getting ready to do my eye patches. I still had my frowny on and I was looking and I said, wow, my veins, you know, seemed lighter to me. And I'm thinking, is this just wishful thinking? And it might've been, I don't know. But I kept looking and I said, holy moly, I really think that because this is really helping to boost up my collagen uh, production, I really think that it's somehow, and I don't quite get it yet, but somehow it is fading my veins slightly. Or I shouldn't even say slightly. I don't, I don't want to get too excited because it really is more than slightly, but, you know, it's still early on, so I'm not going to say that. But anyways, I love that mask. I love that mask. I love the story of the brand Candy. I, I really do. I think I love Candy Way. I love the fact that they are a small company. I love the fact that they really seem to care uh, about a number one, one of their influencers, somebody that's going to either they want to have a review, but they seem to really care in, in general about their customers. Really cool. But let me just show you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you the box. I'm gonna put a couple of uh, photos in here. This came super well packed. You have all the adapters. So if I if I go to Europe, I've got you know a few different adapters here I can plug in so I can charge the unit. It says that you don't need to charge it. I've forgotten how many hours, but it I haven't charged it yet and I've used it. Has it been two weeks now? It's only a short period of time, but I've used it 
four days on, two days off. I really, five days on, two days off is what I'm doing right now. I know, I'm probably just supposed to be doing four. But anyways, they also have the little eye thing that you can put into your mask if you're worried about your eyes. So far, I haven't had any issues with it. And then I just love this little travel bag that you can put in. So you can put it in there. You can keep it. Like I say, I just, I love it. It's flexible. If you want, and they don't have one yet, um, but if you ever wanted to do your neck and your chest, this would work perfectly for that too. I also think I could sit it on my hair. So anyways, Candy Way, the mask was created by the same scientists who do, who has created the most largest, I think, LED mask out there. They have all the same specs. The, they have the same medical grade silicone, all the clinicals, all the certifications, everything is almost identical. Um, but Candy Way also has the Canadian, uh, the Health Canadian certification, certification which at the time of, of this, I don't know whether anyone else had it or not. Um, they offer the two-year warranty, and then, of course, the one on the, on the unit, the charger unit. They're a small family-run business, and they say that their customer service is their priority. And I'll tell you, so far, I would definitely agree with that. They also say they're available to answer any questions. Any, anyone has it all. Um, Nicole herself has like 17 years experience in skincare in the natural skincare industry. And she is more than willing to talk to any one of you if you want to set up a consultation with her or talk to her about your skin, your issues. She's more than willing to do that. So I think it's just going to, it's a real awesome, I think, option. I've got an affiliate link. If you click my link, I'd be forever grateful. Um, there are some benefits for me. I, um, they probably send me more free products, who knows, but... The more I can do this, the better it is for the channel as well. And I, the affiliate link, there's a discount, I believe, if you use the code Monica. I have to really get into it. I'm not, I'm not really good on all the affiliate stuff, you know, because it goes over my head. I don't know if I get a few pennies off of a sale or what. I think so, but I'll have to look into that. But anyways, it is, it's a super, I think, awesome opportunity for all of you to try a product, and I kid you not, because you guys know, right, if I'm excited about something, I'm going to tell you, <laughs> even though it hasn't been six months, I'm excited about it. So, I am super excited about this. Okay. The, I had received from Fiera Cosmetics, and I know that you guys know that I love Fiera Cosmetics. I, I use their concealer. I use, sometimes that's all I use on my face, a little bit of concealer to try to cover my most surgery scar that I have here. And I was using some of the concealer to cover my veins. And some people use the concealer as their foundation if you don't wear a lot of foundation. The way the concealer works is you warm it up in your hands, then you just can dab it on. It's It kind of sinks into your skin. It's amazing how, how wonderful it works. Everything I've tried from them, I really like. I have their neck cream, I have their face cream, I have their concealer, as I said. And I then requested through the Octoly, through Skeepers Network, um, to try their new, and I think this is really awesome. I have both the eye cream and the face. So this is what I'm going to pronounce it as Bacola. 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 And Bacola, if I'm pronouncing it correct, is sort of a retinol alternative. It is perfect for somebody who, you know, has sensitive skin or who wants to get on a retinol platform or products, but the sometimes they just have reactions. So this, the face cream, is heavenly. Let me just show you. The face cream is really, really nice. I don't even want to. I have a, I hurt my hand, so I have a real bad mark on my hand, but I don't know if you can see it. It's like creamy. It absorbs into your skin so super nice and it absorbs in and it plays nice. So you can wear this and the cool thing about this is you can put this on in the morning if you want or in the evening, right? Because the, it, it has no bad reactions to anything, including the sun. So it has a lot less uh, side effects than retinol. 
which is really nice. It has a ton of research and testing. They say it's absolutely perfect to somebody who wants to get on an anti-aging routine, but doesn't want all the side effects, wants to be able to use something during the day or in the evening, because you can wear this during the day. You can go out during the day with this on. So really, really nice. I ended up, and oftentimes there's a sale. So I know I'm talking about the face cream because that was um, the first one that I got was the facial treatment. I've been using it. I use Retin-A, as you all know. So I've been using this on the off days. So I don't wear, I don't use it every day, but on the off days. But I've also been able to use it in the morning. Now the things that I haven't been able to do is, is I have to be very careful under my eyes. So I am loving the fact that Fiera Cosmetics, again, gifted to me, sent complimentary from Fiera. And this is the actual facial treatment. They often have sales, right? I think there's a 15% off coupon. Sometimes you can get two for one. There's a ton of sales all the time on these products. If you have not tried the concealer, guys, you need to try the concealer. I love the concealer. I'm turning my page here. Um, and then I have the firming eye cream. So I have both the facial and the firming eye cream. Really, really beautiful, beautiful products. The eye cream, I can dab it on my eyes all around and I can go right up over my near my brow now I probably could go lower but I'm still playing around with it I really like how it feels on my skin and I think I mean I'm 69 and and I have to often think about my mother right because my mother thought I was a little overboard trying to do skincare and all that but then she was like looking at me and she said your skin looks really good if you know your skin looks really good and I said thank you mom you know because my mom never was a huge person for compliments but she was noticing and when I would stop by after work sometimes she'd be sitting in her recliner and it'd be just her and I and oftentimes we talk about skincare and I told her I said you know I really love that I really love talking about skincare and and things like that and, and being and I know age is just sometimes in your brain because if you feel old you'll be old you'll think old but I don't feel old so most of the time, <laughs> sometimes when I have aches and pains, I feel old, but I don't feel old. And I just think this is like an awesome product. I really love Fiera and their eye cream is, is really, really awesome. I requested them uh, to send me another thing of their vitamin C because I, I love their vitamin C. I haven't got it yet, but I did request that. But both of these were said to be complimentary from Skeepers network from Fiera via Skeepers and if you've not tried Fiera Cosmetics they are again a small company and they are focusing on mature skin. Lots of companies out there will say oh this is great for mature skin. I've got a and I'm not even going to mention the name because I'm not going to review it but I had a, a company reach out to me about their foundation and they asked me to review it. It was designed for the mature skin. I said absolutely. I got the foundation and I put it on the first day. I had to wash it off immediately. And I said, okay, so it's not playing good with my sunblock. Um, then I tried it on bare skin that weekend when I wasn't going out and it, it, it just, it was not good. It was not a pretty picture. So I wrote them, I said, I don't like your foundation. I'm sorry, you know? And so I'm not gonna, not gonna review it, but you know, Fiera has not disappointed me at all in any of their products. I really, really like their products. So I know this might sound like an infomercial for you guys, right? And, um, you know, maybe it is in a way, but I'm, I'm just super, super thrilled with my Candy Weight LED mask. I just real, and I love the customer support, the support I'm getting from the owners of the company. Just, I just think that's awesome. And Fiera, I love every product I've tried of theirs. I'm a Fiera freak for sure. So the other thing I wanted to mention, this is probably getting way too long, um, but the other thing I wanted to mention is in one of my previous videos, I talked about the fact that I was doing a mammogram and I had mixed results on the mammogram. I had to go for a biopsy. So all I'm going to tell you guys is that you need to regularly, regularly go for your mammograms. If you, if insurance doesn't cover it, if you can't afford it, 
they'll always do payment plans. There's always a resource out there, but don't skip your mammogram. I skipped almost two years because of COVID. Uh, one year it was canceled and then I never rescheduled it. And I think the second year, I don't know, maybe it was a year and a half beyond when I should have had my mammogram. And um, it's too important. It's too important. You have to be your own advocate. You know, if, if there's an issue, if there's anything, turning the other cheek isn't going to make it go away type of thing. So my mammogram, the second mammogram, um, came back saying I needed to have a biopsy. And I was supposed to have the biopsy when I came home. Then my mother passed away that week, and it was like just a nightmare. Uh, I ended up having the biopsy the week after, and um, good news and bad news. You know, I, I don't have cancer, but I have that atypical um, lobular or whatever it is. It's a precancer. Bad news is I have to have surgery. So I don't know when that's going to happen. Um, I'm going to be meeting with my doctor on the 18th, my surgeon, and we'll probably schedule it after that. But the good news for me is they caught it early. It's early. And, you know, the bad news is I'm going to have to go through some sort of a, probably a lumpectomy. I don't know until I see them exactly how much. Um, maybe more, I don't know. But I'll find that out on the 18th. And um, so keep me in your thoughts and prayers. I'm sure everything will be fine. I don't want to go through this. When they called and told me this, I had a total meltdown. Poor Jay was with me and I just was like bawling, saying, I don't want to do this again. I don't want to do this. Because I had a lumpectomy in 2014 on my other breast. So anyways, what a, what a, a chit chatty kind of video in a way, right? <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you all so much. I'm going to try to have a video up for next weekend. I don't know if it's going to work yet. You should see this tomorrow, I think May 6th. Hey, did you watch the coronation? Oh, my gosh, I did. I think maybe I'll talk about the coronation in my next video. <laughs> Prince Charles. I'm King Charles III. Queen Camilla. Camilla? Kamala. Camilla. Queen Camilla. I couldn't help thinking of Princess Diana throughout the whole thing. And it was really hard for me to see Harry in the back. You know, not in the back, but Rose's back. But that was his choice, right? He he chose that path to leave. But it was hard to see because you really want to see Harry and William together. And Catherine looked gorgeous. And um, and the little little Prince George, you know, Holt going down. That was really awesome. And then, of course, the two other children, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis. Um, I just... Yeah, I just love all that stuff. And my mother did too. You know, she would always talk about all that. So anyways, I'm going to sign off because otherwise it's going to be an hour long. <laughs>